how to build a campfire. I'm going to show them. Now I'd like to start by talking about the fire triangle. The fire triangle is composed of the three sides to include heat, oxygen, and fuel. And in the center of this triangle is the chemical reaction resulting in what we know as fire. What we will cover is the four steps, preparation, tender, kindling, and fuel to build the physical structure of the fire. Step one, preparation. The first part of preparation is to select the site. According to the United States Department of Agriculture Forestry Service, to select a good site, you want an area that is free of debris, both on the ground, in the air, and around surrounding. That includes everything from sticks, leaves, and brush, to clothing, tents, buildings, and tree limbs above. Then you want to select your material. Once you've selected your material, you want to gather it and bring it to a central location. Things though that you do want to avoid are any treated lumbers, um, processed wood products, fuel like gasoline, fire starter, synthetic materials or other chemicals. These can be harmful to the environment and to yourself. Based on the uh, Boy Scout handbook and my experience in doing this, you may be asking, what are the other three steps? Tender, kindling, and fuel. Well, these are the process of the physical fuel of the fire. And you may be asking, how much of each of these do I need? Well, the rule of thumb is you need enough tender to ignite the kindling, enough kindling to ignite the fuel, enough fuel to arrive at the desired size fire and length of time you wish it to burn. Next, we'll look at tender specifically. Tender tends to be very small items such as twigs, grasses, reeds, and other dead brush. It can include things like bark, sawdust type wood, shavings of wood, and twigs. Two common methods for preparing tinder to begin the process is through what's called a bird's nest and the use of a pine cone. Bird's nest, you will gather your reeds, twigs, etc., and create a bowl-like structure similar to that of a bird's nest, and then build up around that. The other means is through the use of a pine cone. An open pine cone like this, with the addition of grasses, reeds, etc., provides a nice stable platform through which to build around. The next step is through the use of kindling. Kindling is wood that is slightly larger, but usually no larger than your finger. It will include size wood like this. Though kindling is progressive in that it could be from very small to small fuel. The last step is fuel. Fuel is what is going to maintain and perpetuate the fire for the amount of time you wish it to burn. Once you have all these pieces together, you've established your tender, you want to use a model. You want something structured that will aid in the organization to help this chemical reaction occur. If you use something like the pine cone as your base, then you'll start the fire with a chemical reaction and it'll burn. Then you want to use your kindling to go around. Two common methods are the TP method and the log cabin. With the TP method, you would go around the tender and build basically a TP shaped structure. And then with the log cabin, you would place it like Lincoln log, like you were a kid, 
and stack and alternate and build up. And then once you've established the kindling, you would do the same process with the TP or log cabin with the fuel. According to the University of South Carolina Department of Environmental Health and Safety, the fire triangle in this creates a method of creating the reaction. To remove any of these elements would be to cause extinguishment of the fire. So it's important to constantly have prepared, as we stated before, the amount of fuel, tinder, and kindling you need to create the next step in the process to continue the reaction. I guess, once again, to recap, you need to prepare with the site selection, with your material selection, the gathering, and then to systematically build up the fire through the use of the tender kindling and fuel. Thank you very much for taking your time, my, your time to come listen, and have a good evening.